so we have this image here. And so I had a question of uh, how to kind of sharpen up a soft image. So um, this was just an image I found that it will kind of represent and show you how it would work. It's probably not something I would actually use this on. I don't actually use it a lot, but they had a, a macro image of this feather where it was really a fly and they needed to kind of give it a little bit more pop. So dynamic contrast is a good way to give an image a little bit sharper edges and a little bit more pop. You're kind of crunching that uh, contrast that you have. So you're not going to have that as smooth tonal gradations as you'll see. But you really have a lot of ability to adjust this, which is really good. So when you have it, I've just got a simple image here. It's flattened. Um, and all you need to do is go on your layers, hit Command J and duplicate your layer. So you're going to go up to filter, down to other, and hit high pass. I usually do a radius of two. The higher the radius, the more of the effect you're going to get. Two is usually enough for me, so I'm just going to stay there. So I'm going to hit OK, and you're going to get this weird funky thing. And then you need to go into your blending modes. You're going to pick one of two. So the first one I'm going to go to is linear light. This is going to give you the most effect. So if you look right here in this fur of this animal, you'll really see as it's on now and it's off, how it's really sharpening up those edges and giving you a, a much stronger contrast within the image. So I'm going to change linear light to soft light and it's going to lessen that effect. So same amount of opacity now as I turn it on and off. It's very subtle. So for this image, I think the subtlety is better. I'm going to switch back to linear light. Not only can you adjust that, but you can also adjust this opacity. So if it's too much, I can easily slide my opacity down to zero where there's no effect and then kind of creep it up and say, hey, okay, there looks good. That's giving me the hard edge. And then if you decide that you want to add a mask, you can always add a mask. Come in here and whoop. Let's get us a brush that we can use. And if there's an area like in this floor here, or not the floor, the grass, where we don't want that to take effect, we can just simply paint that out and get rid of that hard edge. So if you there's a place that you want to keep it, you don't like it, you can simply just paint over it. All right? And so that is how to use dynamic contrast. So um, I have one more image here. You'll really see it in the tree is kind of where something like this might work better. So let's actually kind of zoom in and go here. We're going to Command J. So we're duplicating that layer once again. Where We can automatically use the last filter, but I'll go over it again. It's Other, High Pass. I use a pixel radius of 2. You can see you get this funky little effect. And you change this to Linear Light. And so I will turn this on and off. And you can see how much it's really sharpened that tree probably too much so we'll just kind of back that off to something that we like better so there's 45 percent and that is how to kind of add dynamic contrast to an image using the high pass filter in adobe photoshop thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe follow me on social media and watch a suggested video